Hey champions and superstars, my name is Eugene Chang from Fin Profits and welcome to this presentation on seven white hack tactics that you can implement, that you can execute to increase your Amazon product reviews in 2019. So before we get started, I would love for you to do me a quick favor. If you want more insights videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can help you create more tutorial videos to help you scale and grow your Amazon e-commerce business. Thanks. Now I'll be adding all the value, so make sure you have your pen and paper ready to take notes. And as usual, if you miss any, any important information, you can always watch this video again. So let's um, rock and roll. So what will you learn today? Basically, you will learn these seven white hat tactics that I'm, I'm about to explain to you that you can use to increase your Amazon product reviews in 2019. Now, according to Amazon, the reviews can you, know, you guys already know reviews can really impact your product discoverability, um, increase search ranking, and most importantly, increase customers' trust, which will lead to more sales, of course. Now, all sellers know that reviews are critical to your product success, but also understands that the reviews are increasingly harder to get. Um, Amazon changed their reviews policy recently, and it's constantly cracking hard on sellers who try to re you know, get reviews by offering incentivized um, reviews or even coupons to customers in exchange for a five-star review. And sellers are not supposed to specifically ask for five-star review or ask the customer to change a negative review. Um, there are other white hat tactics, you know, for you guys to really use and execute to increase your Amazon product reviews. And let's go through um, seven of them um, here. So the first one, tactic number one, is to leverage on Amazon's early review reviewer program. Now this early reviewer program helps you get up to five reviews uh, by offering customers who purchase Android products um, in exchange for a small reward, um, say three dollars reward card by Amazon in exchange for providing feedback for your products. You know, Amazon can offer this type of incentivized reviews, but as sellers, we won't be able to do it. So, you know, hey, it's Amazon's platform. So, okay, Amazon will offer rewards to your customers on the Android product for up to one year until you have received five reviews through the program. And to enroll for this program, navigate to early reviewable program located under the advertising tab right here, as you can see in your seller central dashboard and before you run that in it's best to understand a couple requirements that you need to have before you are able to do this to write uh, to, to leverage on this um, program on this tool so the cost is sixty dollars and you are charged only after you receive a review so it's eligible for amazon products only and also eligible for only for products with less than five reviews and there's no guarantee for the reviews to be five stars so and uh, you know, last last uh, requirement is that selling price must be over fifteen dollars so since there's no really a guarantee that the reviews that you know you receive will be five star you know you have to really do your best to ensure that your products are of great quality at a reasonable price and not to forget you know provide excellent customer service by following up after your um, after each purchases now it's a couple of tools that you can use to have automation available um, to use or email automation so and one of them that I would recommend is Zonguru's email automation tool that you can use to follow up with customers and make sure that they are satisfied with their purchases I'll include the link down below um, for your references now let's take a look at tactic number two so reach out to customers whom you provided customer support so whether you're selling on or off Amazon or both you know you're bound to meet unsatisfied or dissatisfied customers and you really need to identify the issue then try to remedy it far, remedy it as fast as possible um, to avoid the snowball effect now keep in mind that these customers are not only on Amazon, but they are also, so they are not only Amazon's customers, but they are also your customers. So it's important that you follow up with them to ensure that they had a great purchasing experience and the products that they bought were as expected. 
Um, again, you can use any email automation tool to follow up with your customers. And also, after you resolve any product related issues to your customer satisfaction, don't forget to ask them for feedback. You can ask them for feedback, but keep in mind that you can't ask for feed specifically five star reviews. So what you can do is um, ask them you know, if they can leave an awesome review. Uh, awesome means you know, three to five stars reviews, um, but you can't say five stars, but you can use like more positive words to encourage them to, to, to help you out. So what it is for your products or customer service, you know, feedback can really, really help improve your business. You know, customers who, com who complain were whose complaints you know, were resolved, they will feel valued, um, they feel listened to, and the most likely to leave a positive review. So if you really and truly help them out, I'm pretty sure you know they're happy to leave you a feedback, a positive feedback. So. Also, another tip here is to try and judge the customer's tone of responses when reaching out. And if something doesn't sound right to you, don't ask for feedback. Okay. Um, so if they sound really pissed off, or you know, even though you provided a great customer service, don't ask them for feedback. Pretty sure they're bound to leave a negative review. And apart from that, you can also reach out to customers whom you provided support to when you ran run your. Uh, if you're running Amazon Live to promote your products, you know you can reach out to customers as well. To um, who they ask questions in the customer Q and A section, and then you your answer um, help them out in some ways. So let's look at tactic number three: is to use ManyChat to engage with previous customers. So chatbots again are very useful for your Amazon business or any other businesses. If you have heard of it or you've been using it, or uh, and if you're not using it, it's time to use it now. Uh, you can use the existing audience that you have built through ManyChat and target them you know, with just a really simple message uh, flow. Here's an example of the message flow um, that asking that you're asking customers for feedback. Um, you will also be able to track the open and through rates and click through rates using Amazon, um, sorry ManyChat's tool, and not only relying on a sort of spray and pray approach so the first thing you can ask is you oh, know hey you know because um because hey peter or something you know have you tried our uh, what's your revolutionary product right here and then you know give them option and you know, yes or no and then if they yes you take them down to okay that's great now um, ask them uh, if they're really you know impressed with the product or do they like it at all? Do they not? Do they not? And then, what if they really like it? Then you know you can ask them. If you're open to leave an um, awesome review, as I mentioned before, on Amazon, so that others can really enjoy that product. I, I use I use some um, poach egg, egg um, product right here. Um, so what you really want is to have this message flow that really encourage customers to leave you a positive review so keep in mind that you know your copywriting your copy that you use in messages is also important to really spark engagements so be sure to optimize your message flow right here which takes us to tactic number four is you can use product inserts um, so as a it's a sort of gray area right here. So when using product, you know, product um, inserts can be really useful to get product reviews, but keep in mind not to use any incentivization. So for example, if you leave us a positive review, we'll give you a 50% discount coupon. So do not do that um, because it's against Amazon's terms and policies. And also, you know, you don't want to get into trouble using that. And also, you are not supposed to drive customers to your website in, you know, using all these product inserts. So it's like, oh, maybe you're not supposed to say, uh, we can find more of our range of products at abc.com, for example. So one way of using product inserts is including, is including a free sample of another product that you have. That you're selling or any small gifts 
complement to your product range and free samples can really add great value to your packages for a few reasons so free, free samples can be used to uh, cross-sell customers and introduce them to other product lines that they might not know about and or they have been curious about you know, trying it so that's why you're using free samples another great way of using product inserts is to use the um, simplest and the most in inexpensive thank you card simple thank you card is a really thoughtful gesture can you know help build your customer loyalty so product inserts are about uh, adding more value to your customers and by exceeding their expectations so be sure to really use it wisely so tactic number five is investing in high quality product packaging this is an example here by apple so some of you reading this probably have an apple product packaging line around your house right i'm pretty sure i, I do um it, this goes to show you that product packaging of great quality and design will leave a stronger impact on customers um, high quality product packaging not only helps with getting you more amazon product reviews but it also helps with um, branding you know if you want to position your brand as a top player within the marketplace then high product high quality product packaging is one of the aspects that you need to have um, high quality product packaging also limits returns you know chances of unsatisfied customers to return your product is lower when you have great product packaging also higher price points um, the concept of luxury brands allow you to increase product pricing with less risk and of course your product quality has to be on par as well so cheap looking product packaging does not enhance customer experience you know visually whatsoever hence the term you know first impression counts so keep in mind um, that term guys tactic number six is to request reviews from customers who left a positive feedback so we know know that a small percentage of buyers will leave any feedback on so when a customer writes you a positive seller feedback so it's not a product feedback it's a seller feedback a great opportunity this is a great opportunity for you to reach out and ask for a you know an awesome product review and again do not ask for any do not specifically mention five stars or even four stars or provide any incentivization so you're more likely to receive a product review from a customer who readily who already left a seller feedback so the chances of that them running a product view is higher and here's another useful tip and you can follow you can also request for negative feedback removal if the review is a product review instead of a seller feedback so in the actions um, drop down box right there so you can um, request for that negative review to be removed so Another tip is when we're reaching out to customers who leave a positive feedback, you know, try including a step-by-step -step guide with links on it or links to the specific uh, Amazon product listing page, review page, or you know, trying to gamify with any you know with the QR code or something to make things easier for them to write you a um, an awesome review or a positive review and last but not least tactic number seven is to post to social media so another great white hack tactic here is to gain to gain more product reviews to leverage on social media to bring in more reviews so when you receive positive reviews on amazon share in your product page um your sorry your facebook page your instagram news feed or even create a product review for your youtube channel you know there's lots of ways you can leverage on this um, so when you post or you show off your five-star new reviews on social media, what customer said about your product, you're also encouraging your followers to submit their own. You know, this is a re in return. This also helps with increased sales, convincing other followers that that have yet to make purchase. So you can also throw in a freebie for the selected customers who provided um, honest feedback for your product and who doesn't love surprises right so that's it um all seven white hat tactics that you can execute to, inc to to leverage on that and to increase your amazon product reviews 
and here's an important reminder again to not use any unethical or black hat tactics to gain product reviews and end up violating Amazon's terms of service. You know, keep in mind that fake positive reviews are not worth the risk of getting your selling privileges revoked. Uh, focus on the white hat tactics above that I mentioned and you'll be fine you know, just to increase your Amazon product reviews and also help provide feedback for improvement. So before we end this presentation, I would like to remind you or um, drop a quote. So in order to win on Amazon's marketplace, so you have to learn the rules of the game. Amazon rules and you play by their games and then you can you have to play better than anyone else on the marketplace so this is a quote by the great Albert Einstein so keep in mind you know like play by Amazon's rules and you play better than anyone else you will always win now thank you for taking time to watch my presentation up until this end I hope you you enjoyed really enjoyed it and you gained a lot of um, value out of it and you know, feel free to share this video with your friends and you know we will benefit from it and again you know, do yourself a favor subscribe to my channel for more videos and i wish you the very best of success for your amazon business uh, if you have any questions you can always reach out to me all the links are down below in the description and i'll catch you in the next video see you guys bye